Traders, let's talk about magnet mode, how it works and how you can use it alongside all of the drawing tools here on the drawing tool menu. If you're curious about using these drawing tools, we have plenty of other videos and explainers on our YouTube channel and in our help center. But for now, we're going to show you the importance of using the magnet mode. So at this point in time, we are looking at a chart of the gold ETF GLD. And one thing we observe in this video is that there is a topping price here and a topping price here on these wicks. And if you were to draw a trend line here between these two points, you would observe that there is a downtrend since this high. So we're drawing a freehand trend line, meaning we don't have magnet mode turned on. This is our trend line, however we see fit. See the way we move our mouse. And what we would do is select the trend line tool, find the starting point here and click, best of our guess then find the top here and click best of our guess. And now we have drawn a trend line with these two wicks in mind guiding the way. Now that was a free hand trend line, which is very popular. Traders are artists just as, as, as much as they are scientists or thinkers. And in this regard, it's, there's nothing wrong with that because everyone has their own style of trading and investing. But if you wanted to draw a trend line that perfectly connects these two points, the high of this wick and the high of this wick, there is a way to do that with magnet mode. So we're going to delete this trend line and watch what happens. We're going to walk you through strong magnet first. So we select strong magnet. It's now highlighted blue, so you can see here it's been selected. If we hover our mouse over magnet mode, it says magnet mode snaps drawings placed near price bars to the closest OHLC value. OHLC stands for open, high, low, close. And on these candles, you can see the open, high, low, close. And it's a data point that is often included in many different symbols. So we have magnet mode selected and we click our trend line. Watch the difference now, how our mouse is moving. Everywhere we move our mouse, it is automatically snapping to the nearest OHLC value or open high lower close value on the chart. So in this case, we're going to move our mouse until we're perfectly connected on this value. Look, if we move our mouse around, it's still magnetized to that open high low close. So it's stuck there. We've got it identified. Now we click and the trend line has been placed. And now what we can do is move our trend line until we find the exact perfect point here and click again. And now we have just drawn a trend line that quite literally is connected to the tops of these wicks using magnet mode. So now you can see the difference between drawing a freehand trend line and a magnet mode trend line. One is freehand, perfectly useful for any type of trader and investor, your style, your strategy. But the other gives you the capability to make sure it's connected to two exact points on the chart. Now, the difference between the strong magnet and the weak magnet is really going to come down to you. It's how aggressive do you want the magnet to be on your chart? So what we mean by that is pay attention to how our mouse is sort of moving around, but it's not, it's not connecting quite as quickly or, or it's not as strong of a pull. And that's because it is all about sensitivity. If you want the absolute strongest pull to the nearest open, high, low, close value, use the strong magnet. And now you can just see the difference in our mouse movements where it's just connecting, snapping getting magnetized. Whereas if you have the weak magnet, there's a little more freehand drawing here still left. So the choice is really going to be up to you depending on your unique style of investing or trading. For now though, we're going to keep the strong magnet on and just show you one more example because all of these tools here can be utilized with magnet mode. Here is a great example to walk you through once again. This is anchored BWAP. We have many videos on our YouTube channel about this as well as in our help center. And what we're going to do is use magnet mode alongside anchored VWAP to draw anchored VWAP from the absolute low on this chart. Now, as you can see, magnet mode is selected and anchored VWAP is selected. We move our mouse to the bottom of the chart here and we want to get the exact low. Now, because we have magnet mode selected and strong magnet, we only have four options, open, high, low, or close. Well, we're going to move our mouse down here until we're at the low. That's the low. It's going to snap to one of those four. Obviously, the low is the very low here. So we click and we've just added anchor VWAP to our chart calculated from the absolute 
low. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can use magnet mode to draw different drawings on your chart based on the specific values that you want to see, analyze, or research. And as we mentioned, it applies to all of the drawing tools. So some of you may want to even put arrows at specific points, just as a reminder, perhaps. As we mentioned, you can oftentimes use arrows or, or, or any drawing to find the lows or the tops. And so if you wanted to just find this top here and click, You've now placed an arrow that points to the top in this view like that. And you can imagine as you get good at this, you can have a really refined chart that has all of your levels marked. You've got your arrows here. Perhaps you've got the trend line as we were just demonstrating to you. And now you are building a chart with magnet mode on that is always connecting to the nearest open high, low close. And it just adds another level of precision to your analysis. All of these drawing tools will now be magnetized to the point at which you want them to be drawn at. So that is how magnet mode works, weak magnet and strong magnet. Remember, a very important tip is to turn off magnet mode because oftentimes people will have magnet mode on. Then, for example, they will uh, say have the brush tool on and it will suddenly be connecting to the open high low close and you can see the brush tool is not exactly designed to work with magnet mode. And so you're going to want to pay close attention with this. Turn magnet mode off. We've got the brush tool selected. And now check it out. We have our free hand back. We can draw freely on our chart. So that is one more important tip about this tool. It's always remembering whether you have it on or off. And that is how magnet mode can also benefit you and your drawings. And keep in mind, this was just one example. We showed you trend lines and we showed you anchored VWAP, but all of these drawing tools can be used alongside magnet mode. In fact, using the price range tool with magnet mode is a powerful tool to make sure that you are getting the most precise and accurate price changes on the chart because now we've drawn this price change from the absolute low to the absolute high within this region here. Whereas if we had magnet mode turned off, actually let's undo that. Um, let's actually see here, let's, let's redo that. Now you can see it's 10.73%. That's using magnet mode from the absolute low to the absolute high in that range. Let's delete this magnet mode off Let's click price range. Let's see if we can do this perfectly or not. So it's 10.73%. Look at that. We're already at 10.82%. 10, 10 so the point being is it's just not going to be as accurate. If you want to get the exact move in percentage terms or price terms, you're going to want magnet mode on so that you know you're measuring from the connected low to the next connected point in time. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. We hope this video gets you started with magnet mode and that you learned something